ladies and gentlemen, my pass will be on the stage to have a presentation in five minutes. Please remind them and just have five minutes to do your presentation. And now it is your time. Please welcome White Pass. Good afternoon everyone, my name is Dan. I'm the co-founder and CEO of WiseCast. And today my talk will focus on blockchain adoption. But before I start, I'm going to introduce briefly about WiseCast. So, uh, to summarize it very quickly, so five years ago, we worked on the problem and we ended up building a lifestyle app where you can subscribe for $300 a month. And you can actually, with this subscription, access anything, anytime, anywhere. That membership that we designed three years ago actually allows you to use it once a day. What kind of things? So we're working with Starbucks in Vietnam and we start to work with them in Thailand and in the Philippines. You can actually use your membership as well to uh, go to watch movies. Exercise at California Fitness or get a haircut at House of Barber here in Hanoi, Ho Chi Minh. But we got very famous for our ball service. Basically, this membership allows you to actually redeem one bottle of whiskey, gin, rum, vodka, wine, champagne every day as well. And those bottles are worth a hundred dollars. So this is what we do. The way it works pretty simple, it is an app. You just subscribe, and in every restaurant, bars, and clubs, you'll see a box where you scan a QR code, and that's it. That's how you redeem an item. Today, we run in three different countries, Thailand, Vietnam, Philippines, and we run in four cities, Ho Chi Minh City, Hanoi, Bangkok, and Manila. The traffic we send to our partners uh, for the end of the year 2018 is 2,000, and we pretty much are trying to drive 100,000 people a month by the end of December 2019. Our investors is the five startups, Xpara and Visa. We already got a seed run a couple years ago of $400,000, we have a valuation of $1 million pre-money, and we're raising a Series A right now for $3 million. So, let's talk about blockchain. A couple of years ago, like, uh, the momentum is really great for the blockchain. We see a lot of big companies with exchanges and all that. But when it comes to spending cryptocurrency, it's very hard. So, the problem we're trying to solve right now is how to make that easy. When the way we try to approach this is very simple. We look at the user experience and we look at two things. How to make it fast and simple. And the way we measure it is looking at the amount of time it requires to actually make a transaction and spend your crypto. And the second thing is how many steps does it require? When we start to engineer the KPIs or the requirements, we try to make sure like it takes less than a second and little to none steps. This is what we're trying to do. Let me introduce you for the first time how we're going to do it with Termochain. We signed a partnership with them last month, and this is the first time we released those, uh, let's say, those screenshots. We're going to use uh, the email, and we're going to charge $35 for redemption or pass. This is how we call it. You open your Termochain app. You click on the D app here, and you will just see WisePass. After that, you just type your email, the WisePass email account you want to top up, like a, like a phone actually. And when your email account is verified, you just press top up, and that's it. That's how we're going to do it by the end of June 2019. But a lot of people already provided me some feedback because there's a lot of stacks here. We actually managed to discuss with Tomo this morning to make sure, like, if you press an auto confirm, then you will never have to do this again. You would just go to Starbucks, bar, restaurant, and clubs, and just scan it, off you go. This is how easy it's going to be. Actually, we realized like a lot of companies wanted to, to work with us and make this partnership. So we're not solving the problem of too much only. As a matter of fact, we already signed all these partnerships that want to actually use WisePass as a rewards platform. So starting from June, we're going to go with Tomochen and many other companies. 
and we're aiming at to have more than 10,000 redemptions a month through the blockchain to make sure that uh, we're going to run this within the next 18 months with our six country. Thank you very much. Thank you. So it depends. On, uh, so how many transactions? Basically, you just take a million and you drive by thirty-five dollars for the first generation, and then actually we're gonna introduce also the standard membership at three hundred dollars. So you just have to multiply that very much. So three thousand, roughly more than three thousand standard membership, and more than uh, thirty thousand transactions for one pass. That's the first answer. So the way we use the blockchain, as you can see here, is actually by accepting another payment method. That's pretty much what it is today. So there are two things we're doing with the blockchain. We just accept the token, any type of token, as long as it's listed, and as long as there's enough volume for us. That's the couple of things we're doing. The second way we do is actually we issue a token where we do like staking rewards. So if you have a lot of our gas token, uh, you will basically get a lot of free credits so you can use WiseCast to redeem anything you like. So this is like the two different ways we leverage the blockchain. Okay, so that we have finished answer the question from all the team. That is now the Q&A section with our sharks. Please, our shark, bring the question to WiseCast. just before and after applying the, the blockchain technology. So what do you expect, uh, like just a simple the subscription model, but after uh, applying the, the, the blockchain technology into, so what do you expect, what kind of change uh, in the future? Especially your customers and your users' perspective. Sure. So if you talk only about the blockchain, it seems like uh, we're going to have a lot of different partners that already requested that we change a lot. First is actually the type of services we provide on the platform. Starbucks is okay, it's great, but uh, one company from Singapore, NVL, they raised $20 million in trying to compete with Grab, and they actually provide those tokens to the drivers. So their feedback is to say, WiseCast is nice, but actually those drivers they don't care about my like, bottle of whiskey and all that. What they need now is actually to access like gas station. So go and actually partner with all the gas stations so you can be useful and those tokens can be actually useful for my drivers that will get those tokens. So we happen to do this and we launched them at the end of June as well actually. Because we got a partner in Vietnam with 500 gas stations and now, well, a month from now, those drivers can go to the gas station, just show the QR code and redeem worth like $20 of gas in, uh, as long as they provide good service and all that, they will get more token. Then we'll save, uh, so that will save them a lot of money for gas. The second is actually car wash. So car wash is the same, those who ever have cars, so they need to make sure the car is clean and uh, smell nice. So it's pretty much the same thing. So one is actually add, adding more services. Second is actually to make sure like we provide more options, so it's not just $35 each time they have to purchase something. It actually becomes more and more and more and more affordable as well. So we try to work on that and make sure we can drive down the cost and make sure we can reach way more people. And we think that if we start to make the transaction fast and simple, which is less than a second, and make sure there's actually zero steps, that's a good start. And things like that, when we introduce this to all the partners, like they seem to appreciate us because like we already did the hard heavy lifting. Working with startups was extremely hard, especially in Vietnam. But now we have a nationwide deal, and the only thing they gotta do is just to it's like plug and play. So on the merchant side, and the fact that we have done a really a, a lot of work on that is actually helping them and the whole entire ecosystem. So that's my answer for that.
curious to know, how many active uh, users do you have currently on the platform? So it's, it's a tricky question. So I have to say in December 2018, we had 400 active users, 2,000 redemptions a month. However, like we just signed a deal with a non-blockchain company, it's uh, Coca-Cola Vietnam. So they're actually putting 2 million users on our platform. So uh, at the moment, we're really busy to upgrade all our infrastructure with Amazon Web Service to handle and put like with all the, the large volume of redemptions we're going to have to handle in Vietnam only. So that's my official answer. So, so it's likely we're going to get more than 100,000 redemptions a month and soon a million. So are you going to pop the uh, redemption transactions from AWS into the market? Sorry? Are you going to use like, blockchain in the future to do the transactions instead of using AWS? Uh, we're going to use a blockchain with Tomo Chain, yes. And uh, basically what we do is actually to have a Tomo wallet and we just receive it. And that's it. So that's why it's very simple and fast for them, so we have to adjust that. Uh, what we do after that is actually we have to make sure that we kill the risk of the fluctuation risks. Because like the tumult of it will sometimes go high and low. So we have to adopt a kind of swap actually to make sure that we can get some stable point and make sure that we can run as a business. So actually we're more like an old fashioned business. We just try to grow our sales and we try to focus on value creation and make sure like uh, at the end of the day the user can get a really good product they can use every day not just for Starbucks, but also like for a um, broad range of uh, services and products. Oh, um, Sharks, have you have any questions now? Okay, so thank you, White Pass, for this um, presentation. Please thank you, White Pass. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, on